Hello everyone. Today we learn about the herbarium and its methods of preparation. I am Dr. Anil Shirsagar from Shivaji Arts, Commerce and Science College, Kannad, District, Aurangabad. Friends, the herbarium is a very important aspect of the taxonomy. So this is as shown in this particular figure. So these are the students of BSc. They were prepared the herbarium sheet. This is the herbarium sheet and here myself and my students are preparing the herbarium. So let us see about the different methods of preparation of the herbarium and how it will be preserved. So let us focus one by one. So what is meant by herbarium? So herbarium is defined as a collection of the plants that usually have been dried, pressed, preserved on the particular sheet and arranged according to the any aspect, uh, accepted system of the classification for future reference study. In fact, it is a great filleting system for information about the plants both primary in the form of actual speci specimens of the plants and secondary in the form of published information, pictures and the recorded notes. So herbarium is a particular such a uh, concept where we have to going to the visit to the particular field and collect the some plants having the different kinds of the flowers, fruits, all the uh, parts which is uh, present in them or some twigs which have been collected and pressed preserved into the particular uh, according to the system. So what are the resources of the herbarium? Herbarium is a critical resource for the biodiversity, ecological and evolutionary research studies. It is a primary data source of the dried and labeled plants uh, that is specimens that are arranged to allow for a easy retrieval access and the archival storage. A herbarium is a, like a library but it differs in the far uh, in that particular information which is uh, stored in a biological form as pressed and dried the plant specimens. In some of the most cases the, of the vascular plants like the some of the vascular plants or the lichens or the fungi or the bryophytes and some of the vascular plants are preserved slightly uh, differently. Although the main points are the same. As for an example, the Duke Herbarium has required its specimen over time primarily through the research directed field collection by the Duke faculty, staff and its students, but also by a gift and exchange with other herbaria worldwide. So let us focus on the, uh, what is meant by the particular herbaria. So herbaria is consist of the specimen that have been collected over a broad geographic ranges over many years multiple samples of the individual species collected from the different habitats are typically preserved so that the variation among the individual can be documented and related to the ecological factors of the evolutionary fact and the evolutionary uh, or the evolutionary factors. So herbarium and museum collection comprises the basic material for obtaining information about the world biodiversity. Herbarium specimen also provide a material for research on variations at the DNA level, genome structure and the gene expression. So this type of the concept that we also notify it as a uh, genomic library that we also call it as a genomic library where 
the culturing of the DNA, uh, which is uh, text plus. So as what is kind of the herbaria? So as shown in this figure, this is the herbarium uh, cabinet where the number of the herbarium sheets which is located in that this is a lady who prepared the herbaria and this is the format of the uh, that is pasting of the uh, plant form herb, uh, in forming into herbarium. So the libraries herbaria means that is the libraries of a dried, pressed and li uh, liquid preserved plants like algae and fungi arranged and labeled so that the specific specimen can be easily uh, be retrieved. So this is the importance of the herbaria. So uh, the sum of the some have the millions of the specimen. The specimens are stored in the uh, uh, airtight cabinets because uh, this this is very essential. Uh, to preserve that airtight cab into the airtight cabinets because some of the fungal materials can be grown on this particular uh, uh, plant object. So for this to avoid this particular microorganism growing microorganism or fungus on them so that if especially it will be preserved in the particular uh, cabinet that is called airtight cabinets. So as there are the several methods of preparation of the herbarium specimen we just focus now one by one there are several steps how to preserve and prepare the herbarium uh, sheet or the herbarium so the preparation of the herbarium involves the six to seven stages that is the first one is the field visit second one is a collection of the specimen drying and pressing of the particular specimen mounting of uh, of the specimen on the herbarium sheet preservation of that particular material, leveling of that uh, plant material and proper storage. These are the several steps to uh, how to prepare the herbarium sheet. Now let us see one by one. So first of all the, the field visit and the specimen collection that is very important. Without doing this we can't able to do the preparation of the herbaria. So field visit is very essential, uh, you go for the particular uh, field visit and collect some specimen. The complete specimen possesses the all parts including the root system, flowers and the fruits. But sometimes it is possible for the such a herbaceous uh, shrubs or the some uh, herbaceous plant but uh, though the some of the plants are they are most uh, used in uh, tree in the form of tree so uh, only the flower fruits and the twig of the particular plant will be collected therefore the regular field visits are very necessary to obtain the information at every stage of the growth and reproduction of the plant species in the field the tools required for mainly uh, the towel digger that we call the uh, towel or the digger for the digging uh, digging the roots then scissor and knife for cutting the twigs a stick uh, with a hook for collection of the parts uh, of the tall trees a field notebook polythene bag old newspapers and the magazines that will be required for the uh, preserve and pressing the particular plant material while collection so to avoid the damage during the transportation and the preservation at least 5, uh, 5 g specimens uh, that is 5 gram specimen of the plant should be collected the collected specimens are transported in a vasculum that is a specimen box that we call it as a specimen box where we uh, preserve the collected material into them or collect the particular material uh, put into this that's that vasculum and to prevent wheeling uh, livery collected specimen must be tagged with a particular field number and necessary information should be recorded in the field notebook so field notebook is one of the important uh, concept so these are the various tools that's just uh, I told in the uh, field visit that is the uh, tools are utilized for the 
it is required for the for doing the collection and preservation so as shown here this is a scissor uh, scissor knife then this is vasculum where the plant material will be collected this is a digger and this is a plant collected plant species should be expressed in this particular sheet uh, then this is a herbarium sheet how it is prepared prepared so material for pressing how these are the press that we call it as the materials uh, press so let us focus on the uh, different aspects so these are the tools these are the tools different tools which is utilized for the collection of the plants now second steps that is a pressing and drying the specimens are spread out uh, between the folds uh, of the old newspaper blotting sheets avoiding the overlapping overlapping of the parts the larger specimen may be folded in the end or the w type of the shapes of the uh, shapes the blotting sheets with the plant specimen should be placed in the plant press uh, for drying after 24 to uh, 48 uh, hours the press is open so these are the uh, different uh, positions of the press this is made from the wooden strips and having the belt if you the collected material will be placed into the uh, paper newspaper and uh, using these uh, folders or the uh, leaflets of this and then uh, press or tie this particular uh, belt and after 24 or 20, 48 hours it will be open the press will be open for the uh, humid uh, extraction or the uh, to avoid the fungal growth so the, that pressing is very important for and drying is also very important during this particular preparation of the herbaria so this is one uh, step then third step is the mounting how to mount so the dried specimens are mounted on the herbarium sheet of the standard standard size of 41 by 29 centimeter mounting is done with the help uh, with the with dye help of a, uh, a glue or the adhesive or the cello tape uh, anyone can use the bulky plants parts are like a dry fruit seeds cones etc are dried without pressing and are put in a small envelope called as a fragment packets succulent plants are not mounted on the herbarium sheet but are collected in four uh, four percent of the formaldehyde or the formalin or the formalin acetic alcohol that is faa that is uh, for the preservation of the succulent plants so how to mount so as shown here this is this is uh, my these are my students and me uh, we are preparing the, some herbarium sheets of the uh, leaf diversity. This is a herbarium sheet which is fully prepared. The having the twig, the uh, file arrangement of the phyllotaxy on this particular taxon, and this is a flower. So this is a particular sample. Uh, so here these are the students. They were preparing the herbarium uh, sheets while after collection and mount uh, and mounting on the particular sheet. Uh, so uh, next that is preservation preservation is very important the mounted specimens are spread with the fungicide like 2% solution of the mercurous chloride HgCl2 and preserved in a cabinet or the cupboard so these are the two different samples of the plants that is very highly uh, uh, pressed and well uh, having the green uh, such a type of the leaves which is uh, seen on this particular mounted sheet and this is a particular sample of the uh, herbaria how to prepare it and how to paste and preserve this particular on the sheet so this is the way of the preparation of the herbarium sheet and the preservation then after com complete this preservation then labeling is very important so label is pasted or printed on the lower or the right hand corner of the uh, herbarium sheet the label should indicates their information about the locality their altitude their habit the date of collection time of collection 
नेम ऑफ द प्लांट कलेक्टर कॉमन नेम ऑफ द कॉमन नेम ऑफ द प्लांट साइंटिफिक नेम ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर प्लांट दैट वी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज बॉटनिकल नेम सो दैट ऑल दिस इंफॉर्मेशन विच इज इन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर लेबरिंग लेबलिंग दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू यूज द आइडेंटिफिकेशन मार्क और द आइडेंटिफिकेशन proper identification is important for labeling this that is the name of botanical name of the plant their family where from it is located uh, where from it is collected so this uh, that is date of collection all these information which is in the labeling then storage where it is storage and how to storage so properly dried pressed and identified plant specimens are placed in a particular uh specimen which covers which are kept together in a thicker paper folder and finally they are incorporated into the herbarium cupboards that we call it as the storage of the sear in this figure this is a storage of the particular herbarium sheets into the cupboard that is a special cupboard which is prepared in having the different compartments if you record it by family wise or the genus wise also you have to arrange in this particular storage room of the uh, herbaria so it is very important and necessary <coughs> to uh, proper uh, uh, herbarium cupboards in their uh, proper position according to their well well known system of classification in india bentham and wooker system is a well known system of classification which is used for the uh for that pur uh, purpose the type of specimens are generally stored in a separate and the safe places so this is about the uh, uh, see this is these are the certain uh, herbarium which is stored in a cupboard so this is these are the different steps of the herbarium uh, how to prepare in their methods methods of preparation so thanks for watching these are my students they were preparing uh, the herbaria herbarium sheet in the laboratory uh, so the, this is myself and if if you have not uh, subscribe my channel please subscribe the botanical education so thank you for uh, listening carefully watching carefully thanks to all